Well, here we are, number three fairy garden. Uh, this is just a dirty old um, pot that was sitting out in the yard. Uh, some weeds growing in it and one, well, let's see what we have here. I can't tell for sure. It might be a couple Johnny Jumps or it might be one. I don't, it looks like maybe three are in there. Okay, so here I have three little Johnny Jumps, we'll just say. And some weeds that need to be cleaned out. Got uh, some potting mix in here and I think we're just going to leave the potting mix because I don't have to buy any potting mix now. So the Johnny Jumps, free. Because they were already in the pot from some other fairy garden I'd done in the past. Uh, the pot I already had, free. Potting mix, free. So let's see what I can do with it. First we're going to do is pull those weeds out carefully, not to damage my Johnny Jumps. And clean up this pot for it doesn't look so bad and dirty. So I'm going to wash it up, get some paper towels, and get that going. only bought one plant for this whole container, and it's a salvia, as you can see by that. It's a dollar and a half for the plant at Home Depot. And I didn't realize they came in a burgundy color. I don't know if you can see what they look like, but that's the color I got for this. Now let's take this sign out because we already see it was a salvia. Okay, so that was a dollar and a half expense. I used about a third of black pebbles from the Dollar Tree, so that would they be 40 cents maybe. So now we're at a dollar ninety. Um, the little bridge, the little um, bench, and the little street light. I already had, they were a gift, oh and I forgot, the flowers were also a gift from my daughter-in-law and my son, it was a Christmas gift, full of miniature uh, micro fairy garden supplies. So you may see at least another two or three little uh, miniature things like this because no cost. So the bridge, the flowers, the bench, the light came in that gift. So no cost. And then maybe I use eh, maybe a quarter. So now we're into two and a quarter. So this fairy garden, as you can see, two and a quarter. So that's not bad, it's not free, but it's under $5. And I thought it turned out pretty cute. I realize it doesn't have a lot of plants, but you have to understand this is a very tiny container. And this salvia will not last long in it because it will get too big. But it should last for at least a month or two with no problem. So this was a three and a quarter. We're getting no two and a quarter. We're saying for this flower, this fairy garden, including the water, including the bridge, the flowers, the bench, the street light. I thought it turned out pretty cute for two and a quarter. So I have now three different kinds of colors of salvia and i'm thinking maybe i will throw all three of them in these uh, under 30 well these 30 fairy gardens that we're going to do this month and then i'm going to put them all side by side so you can see the different colors and texture i didn't realize salvia came in so many different colors and uh, but anyway i have several of them and we're going to use all i think i have three different colors we're using all three so here's my fairy garden in my garden thought it turned out pretty cute uh, being the container was so small, I really couldn't put very many plants in it. But you know when you put it in the garden, it really doesn't matter because I have a lot of color in my garden, as you can tell. And as you can see, I left the little salvia sign behind it because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget that's what it is. But I don't know if you can tell, the flowers are bur burgundy. Aren't they pretty? And I didn't realize it at the time. I have some more salvia over here. And this is like a purple. But I am going to use, I have a salvia just like that. I'm going to put in a container. Uh, but anyway, that one is in the ground. All these plants here are in my ground. Uh, they're not in containers. But uh, as you can see, when they're in the ground, they really get pretty and they get lush. And they looked really nice next to this little fairy garden. Notice you really couldn't see the street light because it was black on black. So I picked a few little flowers and threw them behind there. But you can see what a pretty little light it is. Isn't it cute? 
these pieces are tiny but they are cute and all the detail on them I can't believe it and even that little bench it is really great well I guess I should stop talking bye bye for now my fairy followers